Hi, Internet. This is Ada, and I have some disturbing news. Now, this might look like a familiar sight. The race is about to start. All of the celestial animals are getting ready to participate. But the Toya, the Toya does not actually follow the path. It does not cross every single green marker. So what did it do? So I decided to wait for another race and follow this little green monster all the way. And let's just think about what we know about the Choya. It's not much, I can tell you that. They are from Path of Fire. They are not one of the celestial animals in the Chinese zodiac. They might, they're a little crazy. So why is it that we're allowing them to be in our race, having free reign on our city? You're saying, oh, the Choya are, are easy, they're, they're cute, and we're not going to worry about, about them. But what, it, but what about the idea if it was a spy? Why else would it go off of the race track? It's right behind the tiger, and then it suddenly turns left. And it's backtracking. Does it want to get some cotton candy? Is it trying to make sure that it's the last one? And here, again, it does not pass the marker. So, so then I was like, okay, now it turns again. And it goes past this stall. Now, if you're thinking Ada, if this was a spy, it would find other places to go. And it does. It goes to the trading post. And that has me concerned, you know. And then here it turns left and goes past our armory. The Divinity's Reach Armory. And it goes into the garden area completely alone. Is it snooping? It goes past... The queen's favorite flower. So why is it that we're allowing these race racers complete access to the divinity's reach? Just something to think about, internet. Also, um, Guild Wars 2's celestial animals do not follow the zodiac uh, story. It allows the dog to finish first this year. Which is, I think, a very nice touch. Thanks, Internet. Ada out.